Hi, this tutorial is for Frosty Alpha and I'm going to be doing it with Dragon Age Inquisition. When exporting a mesh, keep in mind the LODs. This one has 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, which is technically 6 LODs. Because we have to have the same amount of LODs on export as on import, otherwise it will not import into Frosty Editor. Also we have to keep in mind the max bones per vertex, so this is four. So each vertex can only have four bones assigned to it. If it exceeds this amount, it will delete some of them, which can lead to problems in the animation in game. Another thing we have to keep in mind is materials. With her, it's a bit more straightforward. Because we can only replace an existing mesh and not create a complete new mesh, we do have to keep in account the textures. Each hair, or most of the hair share the same hair texture. So it's best to change the UVs on, uh, UVs <laughs> on any hairs you make to match Dragon Age hair textures rather than make a new hair texture. Otherwise you get bald spots on some hairs. And if you're converting a hair from a game, get the permission from the company who made the game. And same for sims her mods get permission of the creator who made the her mod unless this say you can it's free to use in which case credit them and share a link to the page but always get permission if you don't know it's free to use or not so the same applies to outfits you can only replace an existing outfit and you can't completely make a new outfit. You can make a new mesh but it has to replace an existing one. And the same for textures, it has to replace an existing texture. So for prologue one you would replace the prologue textures which is actually under Inquisitor Gym. These. And you have to take into account materials as well. This is because material order is different on different meshes. So skin is first on this one and the outfit is second. And the skin is second on this one, or well, the outfit's first. So if I was to replace this mesh with the prologue, the prologue's outfit would become skin and the skin outfit. I'll just show you actually. With import, I've already exported it. Um, I'm going to show that a bit slower in a second. I'm just showing the materials first. So this is where it swapped. Like I said, the outfit became skin and the skin became the outfit. So let's reverse that. Oh no, it's not that one, is it? So it would be zero zero one zero. Yeah, we're about. Okay, it's back to normal. So in 3ds Max or Blender, you have to take into account the order of the names. So on this one exported, skin would be second, outfit would be first. Let's do export. So for Blender, always have flattened hierarchy ticked, otherwise it will not work when importing back into Frosty Editor. I use meters because it's easy to see in Blender, but then you have to export when you export the FBX in Blender, you have to export at a scale of 0 0.01 to turn it back into centimeters, which is what we need for when importing into Frosty Editor, and also to have to take tangents, and then it should work if you've got all the LODs tangents ticked, the right scale, because if it isn't the right scale, you can the mesh can go extremely huge or extremely small. For 3ds Max, I use the centimeter one, so I would 
two centimeters that doesn't matter which one you use well unless you're using um, an earlier version of 3ds max then you need the matching one and always export with a skeleton always import with a skeleton so because we're replacing in this example we would be replacing this we would need the human female skeleton so we click on that the a3 animation humanoid human adult female there is two this last one do not use that's the skeleton that the all laid dresses use which means it doesn't work with walking so human female skeleton and then would export should I say yeah I've already exported it <laughs> um, so like I showed with re-importing we're just going to re-import the exact same mesh so skeleton because we're replacing human female mesh we need to use the human female skeleton when importing so if you're using the dwarf adult female well dwarf female you import the dwarf female skeleton dwarf male the dwarf male skeleton elf elf female elf male elf male canary female canary female canary male canary male human male human male but for this it would be human female again do not use the hfd skeleton for human female as you can see it's imported again but you should have noticed something change this changed like i said this is alpha well i'm pretty sure i said it this means that some things can change so some things you've seen this tutorial might not necessarily be the same in a future version of frosty alpha or frosty editor itself so i'll revert that back to normal again can take a while because actually sometimes crash programs to do save regularly if not it should auto save okay so I've explained the materials replacing textures um, yeah I think that's it for frosty editor so this part of the tutorial is gonna end now and at a later date hopefully sooner rather than later there will be a blender tutorial and a 3ds max tutorial thank you for watching